well, it got dark on me. So I'm gonna have to do something else. So yesterday's exercise was actually very enjoyable. I've never done that before. And so today, since I lost track of time and then of course it went dark on me, I decided that maybe this is a good time to try it again, just with a different kind of object one that has a lot more planes and it's a little bit easier to see how the light falls on the object i mean one of the things that i'm guilty of is trying to make shading or gradients very very quickly instead of learning actually to see how the light is being or how the light is falling differently on each plane of the object that I'm doing or I mean the object that I'm painting therefore I feel like this pentacube is kind of perfect to um, learn these things of how the light falls into different planes of the objects and trying to see objects more like how, how you have to learn how to see the planes in an object even though it's a smooth object just like the egg the egg is a lot more smoother but there's still planes that you can well map out to make your life easier to understand the, the how the light wraps around or uh, it's not wrapping around but the light is just kind of falling away from the object and or it's not reaching the object i really don't know how to explain it but it's if you think about light bouncing everywhere around the object not just the light that's directly pointed at the object the the light is coming from so many directions and is being bounced right back into the object but from different angles and therefore you get this gradation or what what looks to be a gradation of light so um yeah <laughs> i think it's a, a bit complicated to explain maybe you guys are understanding what i'm saying and i'm just feeling like i'm going around in circles but yes this pentacube really shows how the light hits different sides of the the, the different planes of the pentacube uh, for example the one on the top that is gray is a lot lighter than the one the one that is completely behind it or the one or the green one for example and also a, a very interesting thing here as well as that the the purple side that i'm painting right now looks the darkest but probably isn't the darkest or maybe it actually is but there's a lot of light being bounced into it. So if if we were to put, if I was to rotate the pentacube in a way that the purple side was facing a lot more away from the the light, then it would really like stand out just because the value of purple or uh, this particular purple is a lot darker than all the other ones that are visible right now the orange the green the pink and the gray so i, I don't know that's uh, i mean something very interesting for me to think about like or anybody to think about that each color also has its own value and therefore you can kind of calculate in in a way like making doing color math <laughs> or value math actually um yeah th that i just feel like there's um there's a way to understand value much easier if we understand the value of each color and i think i've talked about this before and i'm sorry if i'm just rambling it's just uh, me trying to explain this in the best way possible not only to you guys but to myself as well Another thing that I realized doing this sketch was I really need to work on my sketching or my drawing skills because my perspective is really off. Well, in honesty, like there's also the way or how I was sitting 
is not the same as the reference picture and remember I'm not actually copying the picture that you see I'm copying the actual pentacube in front of me not what I see from the screen because I'm not actually looking at the screen um, also if you're wondering by any chance yes I know how to solve this <laughs> Uh, it's a weird flex, but yeah, um, I like these kinds of puzzles. Anyway, I decided for some reason adding a green shadow and it actually worked out in the end. I don't know why. I think it's just because all the colors around it is they're quite warm. And when the ambient around it, around that like... Um, object is warmer then the shadows tend to be warmer as well actually no that's not true because i know there's a guy a really good watercolorist that talks actually the opposite he says that if we really look there's a lot the the light the direct light of the sun looks cooler than we think and the shadows tend to be warmer but for some reason I felt like this shadow here was a little bit warmer but in the end I do add more blue in there and some red to make it a little bit more gray and yeah so I'm just putting the first layer of all the colors uh, the lighter colors and I wasn't doing a really good job at adding enough paint um, and I noticed that I had to go over several areas like this green that I'm putting right now it's not nearly dark enough to actually pop it's gonna pop a little bit but not enough also the color of the wall was quite hard for me to understand and I think I could have done a little bit of a better job if I would not have the time constraint of 15 minutes. So yeah, even the, um, the pink, and uh, not the pink, sorry, the purple that I'm putting right now is not dark enough. And you will see that in the end, like it looks right at the moment, but when it dries, it's going to dry a lot lighter. And that's the saying that I'm always going to be referencing because it's so good from Andy Evenson. Like if it looks right, then it's wrong. <laughs> it's a sad but very, very true uh, quote. And I think that it's helped me out a lot. But sometimes when I'm pressured with time, I don't really think about it and, or I forget it and then just move on. The only one that I think the only color that I think was quite right was the the pink and um, the pink side I was very surprised that it was the first time that I looked at the color I was like oh no that's too red I, it needs to be more white but I was like no it's the right color just put it down on the paper and it's gonna look right because it's still very wet and it has to dry and then boom it it was actually the kind of the color that I needed of course it's not the perfect local color uh, in the in the pentacube but the exercise here is not to get each color exactly as you see it it's more about uh, painting the light that we see and the colors that we see as best as we can or at least that's what i'm trying to do here i mean i can't believe that it's already day 61 it's not a long time since uh, before this uh, challenge is done and i'm already thinking about like what i'm gonna do next there are so many things but one of the things that i'm gonna be doing is um working on my drawing skills i really want to get better at drawing uh, my compositions and it's i think it, that just makes so much e it makes everything so much easier i mean some people are advocating for not having to draw at all but if you think about a painting like a the body of like, like the body of a human or any body or 
like a human body like the skeleton is the sketch so if the skeleton is not right then doesn't matter what type of skin you put on doesn't matter how much muscle you put on and well, I guess the skin would would be the the paint it's just not gonna look right and so that's why I want to get better at uh, sketching and that also is because I want to make like write and illustrate a children's book because I'm planning to be a father soon and it would be nice to have a storybook that I can read to my own children that I made by myself. I mean, I already wrote one book um, from my travels around Norway or it, it wasn't a lot of travels. It was like a 2000 kilometer um, bike ride around Norway and my experience and the things that I learned there. So it would be good to also write about most of the life lessons that I've learned in the last few years but it wouldn't be able I wouldn't I don't think I could do a book just one book with all of them so I would have to do like a series of books and I think it would be nice for them to be like for children and I mean it would be also good if they're if I deem them good enough <laughs> or my wife deems them good enough, I, I might be able to um, share them with the world and maybe make a living out of that. That could also be cool. I've always really liked the whole illustration um, industry. I wanted to be a um, concept artist as well. Never really got around to do it or never gave myself the chance. And also I never really, um, well, tried. I I really just uh, looked at art as a hobby, not really as, as the thing that I really want to do, but thanks to Marco Bucci and thanks to the fact that I started watercolor painting, I mean, I am closer to going into that direction and it's quite exciting. And I want to say thank you to everyone that's here and it's been uh, following this process from like day one of this particular project of a hundred days of planner painting which hasn't been the case i know but it's just how the weather is and uh yeah i mean there's nothing to do about it my my wife told me not to uh beat myself too much about the fact that i'm not going out i mean i'm still making the videos every day and i'm still painting every day so so i guess i haven't failed completely thank you for being here and i'll see you tomorrow